it's kind of scary. I never thought anybody would be able to find a python underneath their hood of their car. Ellen Shador didn't find the exotic animal, but lives near the 2300 block of Pecan Street, where the snake was found. For one thing, I don't like snakes. <laughs> Another thing, it just seems so unreal. It's not a common thing that we see. As someone who's worked at the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary for 25 years, Curator Lori Bankson says this rescue was a rarity. The owner of the vehicle was not the owner of the snake. Bankson says the python somehow got loose. She says the snake was first seen in the garage before eventually being found under the hood of a car. Most likely the, the snake crawled up into this person's engine of the car to stay warm and found a good place to hang out for a little while. Bankson says the car owner safely drove over to the wildlife sanctuary with the reptile. Pecan Street is more than four miles away from the sanctuary. They gave the okay that, yeah, the snake should be fine if you drive the car over. Bankson, along with a colleague and animal control, safely removed the python. She says the snake is now being cared for at a rescue. Eventually, then we'll be given a good home. They'll find a home for it. Police say the reptile was a seven foot long jungle carpet python. Bankson says the snake is from Australia. So how did the python make it all the way over here? From I understand this is a very popular animal in the exotic pet pet field and exotic pet trade. Green Bay City Code explains that a permit is required for people to keep exotic animals. Police say there is not a known permit for this kind of snake, but despite some legal questions surrounding this rescue, Bankson says nobody was injured. It was an exciting afternoon, but we're glad it went well.